Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're looking for the perfect grilling recipe this summer, I've got you covered. I'll be making my veggie and chicken kebabs today. Now I've made these for my family and I've made them for my friends and everybody agrees they're just so good. I'm going to marinate the chicken with Worcestershire sauce, a little red wine, some mayo, tons of spices. Then we're gonna combine that together with some bell peppers, zucchini, mushroom, shallots. These are so easy to put together. Just toss them on the grill and you are set for an incredibly delicious meal. Let me show you how to make these. First, I'm going to prep my veggies. I'm going to use a yellow zucchini and some green zucchinis today. And you want to cut the vegetables into larger chunks that are going to grill up nicely. A little red bell pepper. You can also use green peppers or yellow peppers. Toss everything together in a large mixing bowl. If you have larger mushrooms, just cut them in half. You can leave the smaller ones whole. And I'm going to slice up a couple shallots. You could also use some red onions for this. I have my veggies all done. I'm gonna get started on my chicken. I'm going to be using a pound and a half of chicken thighs. I do find that chicken thighs stay the juiciest and they're best for grilling, but you can also use chicken breast or even chicken tenders for this recipe. You wanna section your chicken thigh into larger chunks. I find that they cook better, they stay nice and juicy, and they'll cook evenly along with the veggies. I've added my chicken to my veggies in my mixing bowl and now it's time to season. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, add lots of great flavor, a little spiciness, and a quarter cup of red wine. Season this with a generous amount of salt. I'm using about a tablespoon. Add lots of ground black pepper, and half a cup of mayonnaise. Just gonna bind everything together. You can also use yogurt if you don't like mayonnaise. About half a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of ground Cuban. And about two tablespoons of freshly chopped dill. And then use your hands or two spatulas and combine this all together. You wanna make sure that the chicken and the veggies are well coated with the seasonings, the salt, the Worcestershire, And now it's time to skewer our veggies and chicken. If you're using bamboo skewers, make sure to soak them ahead of time so that they don't burn on your grill. And then just alternate adding your veggies and your chicken. Preheat your grill to medium high heat and then grill your kebabs for about five to six minutes per side. And I like to turn them every couple of minutes to make sure that the color is even. And this already smells so good. Seriously though, how good do these kebabs look? And I wish you guys could smell these. These smell so amazing. I'm just gonna use a fork to slide off my meat and veggies onto a plate. Just look at that, oh, so delicious. And that's it for my veggie chicken kebabs. This recipe is foolproof. These are bound to turn out perfectly every single time. Now, I typically serve these with a side of potatoes. I'll include a link down in the video description box below to this recipe as well as my loaded bacon and garlic potatoes and a few salad recipes that I think will go so well with these kebabs. You can also serve them with a hot sauce, a ketchup, chimichurri, any kind of dipping sauce that you like. I'm gonna get a little bit of that meat and a zucchini. Zucchinis are my favorite. Mmm. 
No matter how many times I've made these chicken and veggie kebabs, I never tire of the flavor. They're just so incredibly delicious. I love that marinade. That chicken is just so tender and juicy and flavorful. Love the addition of the veggies, the zucchini and the mushrooms are just so good. This is going to be the perfect grilling recipe of this summer. Head down into my video description box to get the full recipe. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.